Good evening, everyone. This is Infinite Child, and I have to give you today's word. And um, ah, it's been a busy day. It's been a blessing today. Amen. And you guys, I hope you all are, um, you know, being safe and actually, you know, seeking the word of God. Amen. And God is doing wonderful things. And I know that he's doing wonderful things in your life as well. And again, like I said before, you guys, we have to trust the process and we have to trust God with everything, with everything. And so before the night ends, pretty early today, uh, I got off work uh, early. I've been up since six o'clock at work. So and I just made it back home, made a few errands. But anyway, you know, usually I give it I give the word maybe after nine o'clock. And that's, you know, expect that after nine o'clock or in between that time. Uh, yes, yeah, more than likely after nine o'clock. But on Saturdays, expect the word after five o'clock before nine. Anyway, so you guys, I hope this word resonates with you. I hope this word blesses you. I hope this word meets you where you are. And so I, I want to talk about, you know, uh, our father, you know, he's he is our protector. And we all should uh, let us never think that we have drifted out of uh, God's love because God says no one can take him. No one can pluck us from his love. No one can take us out of, out of his love except it be ourselves. If that's when we don't trust God and we don't, you know, come to our own conclusion that, you know, or what we see in God, what we see in Jesus Christ, you know, because what we see is what it is. And he's he's everything. And and I hope you guys really understand that the God is everything and he takes care of us. And when we read his word, you know, and when we um, understand uh, our father's character, you know, we will really get, you know, I, I think I, my opinion is, you know, I think that the more we fall in love with with Jesus Christ, because he is so good. He is so good to us. And. You know, God is not a, a angry person, you know, th though he has wrath and he he uh, reigns on the just and unjust. But, you know, he, he is loving to us. And yes, he does get angry, you know, but. Overall, God is loving, you know, and he 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 is he, he is a judge. And so, you know, it's it's he does, you know have his emotions as well but you know overall god is love amen and so you know in, in his eyes throughout the world and and you know he helped us um he he helped those that put their trust in him and let that be you let that be you put your put your trust in god and the lord always knows who places their ex expectations in him so there's not anything that we can hide from god amen not anything at all and so, again, you know, people could fake the funk with, with each other, but God sees everything. God knows everything. And, you know, does, does, does that not make you excited or, you know, just knowing that God knows everything? It's amazing, honestly, to me, is, is really amazing. And as we know, he shelters us in times of danger. And so we should not, you know live life in fear of anything because he is our protector at all times and we are able to handle any temptations any problems or any of the like and god comforts us and when we are sometimes feeling down or in sorrow or feeling somber about anything you know he is the comforter and you know it's a privilege to be reconciled with god it's a privilege to know that he is restoration. It's a privilege to know that, you know, he is our savior. You know, it's a privilege to know that he takes care of us. It is a privilege to know that he is our hedge of protection. Amen. And a, a lot of wonderful things. And wherever you may find uh, yourself while living within his will, that's, he wants that for everyone. He wants that for everyone. We can rest assured that his eyes watch over us. He watches over us and he is always ready to hear when we call and to help. 
when we need them. And believers, we need them at all times. It's Again, it's not part time. It's not whenever we feel it. It's not because what we want God to bless us with. It's with everything. We need him at all times. At all times. Amen. And so, you know, I hope that we praise his, his, his great name and he will never forsake us. You know, for those that trust in him. Amen. So, you guys, I want to leave you with Second Chronicles chapter 16, verse 9 says, For the eyes of the Lord range throughout the earth to strengthen those whose hearts are fully committed to him. So, you guys, I really, really encourage you to seek the word of God and to seek his will. His will is plainly John chapter 3, verse 16. Plainly, and for us to abide in him and for our lives to bring him glory. Amen. And to worship God. Not mammon, not idols, not people. God, only God. So you guys, I hope this word encourages you. I hope this word encourages you. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend. A wonderful weekend and be safe and remember to practice cleanliness in your household and in your workspace all right so you guys i will check in with you later i am infinite child and we shall talk soon be blessed and be a blessing unto others and know that you are blessed i'll check in with you later have a good night peace